guys today is Sunday and it's been a week since I last checked in with you guys last week I was quite upset because we just found out that we have to move house it was kind of out of the blue we weren't expecting it and rather disconcerting when we just hadn't planned on having to move our lives again but for the past week I've been working on just being more positive overcoming the kind of negativities that I'm feeling towards the move and trying to see the positives and find that silver lining I guess. I truly believe in a positive mental attitude and if you ever want to overcome bad times you have to just think positive, put yourself in a positive place and there's a number of things you should and shouldn't do when you get into that negative space whether you're having a bad day or you're suffering from a bout of anxiety. Number one, instead of sitting in and feeling sorry for myself I've pushed myself out of my comfort zone rather than sitting at home feeling sorry for myself which I have to admit that I did do for one day. I made myself go out and do things. I went to the gym, I went for dinner, I just got up, got dressed and did my makeup and just made myself feel better. If you sit at home in your pajamas feeling sorry for yourself, you're never gonna feel good because you're gonna look in the mirror, you're gonna feel shitty. Getting up, showering, doing your hair and makeup is going to make you feel better. Another thing that will make you feel a lot better, simply eating healthy whole foods rather than indulging in all the wrong foods because you're feeling bad. Overcome that and just make yourself healthy meals because if you eat shitty foods it's going to make you feel sluggish, it's going to make you feel worse. You'll get that initial hit of yes I'm eating a crappy meal and it's making me feel happy but it's not really gonna make you feel happy in the long run. The next day, you're gonna wake up feeling shittier than you did the day before. You're gonna have a sluggish digestive system and you're just simply gonna feel crappy. I know one of the main things that I want to do when I'm having a bad day is have a glass of wine or a cocktail or something like that. And that's fine if you're having a bad day, you've had a shit day at work, you have a glass of wine. But if you're really getting down and you're really feeling crappy, the last thing you should do is drink. Alcohol is a proven depressant. It's going to make you feel shitter. When is the last time someone woke up after drinking a lot of alcohol the night before and woke up feeling amazing, woke up feeling positive, that they made the best decisions of their life to stay for that extra cocktail. It's not true. You're, it's just not going to happen. So if you're feeling really down, avoid alcohol. Go and get yourself a healthy smoothie. Go and drink loads of water. I know it sounds lame, but drink some water. It's going to hydrate you and just avoid alcohol because it is the worst thing for when you're feeling down. Now I'm going to hit the gym, but I'm going to continue with these top tips about getting over those negative slumps after the gym. So enjoy this workout. is my quad and calf session done. I just do one set of exercises for calves per week, but it keeps them in check and it keeps them toned and a nice shape to them. I trained so hard that I sweated a lot. I even had to buy an extra bottle of water during that workout and I felt like I was gonna throw up. So that's probably a good sign. So I'm in from the gym. I've changed out of my sweaty gym clothes 
and I'm about to do some of the meal prep, but I want to continue on with how to get over, I suppose, a bad day or a bout of anxiety or just stressful situations. Now, this is all from my experience and what I've done wrong and what I find that I'm working on to avoid doing. So one thing I find when I'm feeling stressed out or I'm feeling anxious is that I don't sleep very well. Now there's not much you can do about not being able to sleep. Like you can try relaxation methods, don't be on your phone, don't watch TV before you go to bed. Try reading or meditation if that's what you're into. But failing that and if you just can't sleep, avoid drinking a lot of coffee. If you drink a lot of coffee and caffeinated drinks, you're not gonna be able to sleep later on. And I know that means that when you're super tired and all you want is coffee, you have to avoid it. But it's just in the short term, try having a smoothie, try taking some some vitamin B in the morning, something like that, that's gonna help wake you up naturally rather than taking caffeine. I'm not saying cut out coffee altogether, but don't drink excessive amounts of coffee. It'll just make sleeping even more difficult. And learn from the caffeine addict. Another very simple way of getting through difficult situations and tough times is to talk to people. Don't lock yourself away on your own. Talk to someone. Talk to someone who makes you feel better about the situation. Not someone who's going to make you just feel pumped up about yourself. I'm talking about someone who listens and actually gives you genuine advice. Sharing my hard times on YouTube really helped me because I get feedback from my subscribers and I know you guys are all there to help me and to guide me. Sitting and talking with Lex has helped me and then just going for a coffee with a friend and a chat that has really helped me just get past shit times. Surround yourself with uplifting, positive people and you will feel better. Sitting at home and dwelling on a situation in a negative way is not gonna solve anything. But putting yourself out there, talking to people and talking through a situation, usually you'll find a solution to your problems. If you have some problems that you need to resolve and work through, I find exercise is one of the best things you can do. I work out a lot of my issues and my internal struggles in the gym. I know it sounds obvious, but it's my place of refuge and it's my place where I just am at one with my own thoughts. Also, when you exercise, you release a lot of serotonin and that can, that's, serotonin is the happy hormone, so it's gonna make you feel better. Right now, I'm gonna do some very simple meal prep. I've got some chicken breasts. I've got some prepped sweet potato fries from Muscle Food. I've got some Muscle Food sausages and some Hex sausages that are also available from Muscle Food. I'm simply gonna throw them all in the oven and then they're prepped and ready to go. They can be stored in the fridge for when me or Lex are feeling peckish. This is my formula for perfectly prepped chicken that will be super moist and not all dried out and gross. So we've got some Faye, total 0% Greek yogurt. We'll use about 50 grams of that. We're gonna use some of the red hot wing sauce from Frank's, which is yummy. Garlic granules, so just powdered garlic, salt and pepper, and some smoked paprika. And we're just gonna douse those chicken breasts. So I've got four large chicken breasts there. I'm just gonna cover them in the marinade and then stick them in the oven. So here we have it all mixed up, ready to go. You can see all the spices and the yogurt, and it's just really, really tasty and simple. Once this is cooked, you can just store it in the fridge and it's just gonna retain the moisture in the chicken so you won't get that gross, dried out microwave chicken a couple of days later. You can add it to pasta, rice, sweet potato, whatever you want, but it's in the fridge, it's done and ready, so no excuses. So here I have the chicken breasts all ready to go and I've got them in tin foil to save on the cleanup. Then we have the sweet potato fries, so I've got the paprika ones and the lemon herb ones. And I've just lightly sprayed it all in some of the garlic fry light oil. And it's just gonna be popped in the oven until they're done. It usually takes about four to five minutes to an hour. I'm getting all set up to record a recipe video, but my as the delivery arrived, I just wanted to show you a few of the items that I got that I'm really liking that are new to my online delivery. So I started trying to eat less meat. So I tried these uh, vegetarian red onion and rosemary sausages. They're really good. Now, honestly, they don't taste like sausages, but they are quite tasty and I had them with some vegetables and some sweet potato mash and it was just a really tasty dinner. So if you want to just have a meat-free meal every so often or you're vegetarian or vegan, you've probably already tried them, but they're really good and they have good macros too. As I said earlier, trying to not consume so much coffee even though I'm tired, but I do like a hot drink at night. So um, I found this from Tetley. It's like a 
chocolate mint tea. So I'm going to try this later. I'm not sure of the caffeine content, but I'm sure it's a lot less than having actual coffee. And you can have it with milk, so I'm going to try that later. And then I've showed you these before. They're the Warburton's Protein Bagels, and they're really good, and I really enjoy them in the morning or for lunchtime snack. And also the Warburton's Protein Bread. I love it because it's like portion control because they're smaller and you get a little bit of protein added in and it's really tasty bread. So I've been cooking up a storm, I've got some sausages grilled, I've got some chicken ready to stick in the fridge and I've got the sweet potato fries made. I'm just waiting for them to cool to put them in some cookware and I'm also going to eat some of my food right now. So I've got the chicken and sweet potato fries. Kind of like a healthy takeaway, really. And I've also just recorded a recipe video. So it's like a chocolate moussey pudding. It's really good, really tasty. And I have them cooling in the fridge. If you want to see that recipe, head on over to my recipe channel right now. Check it out, subscribe. I'm putting up all my recipes there. They won't be here on this channel anymore. I'm just going to chill out now for the evening. Another tip for treating stressful situations, stressful times, is just do things that you enjoy. Don't sit and dwell on the negative situation. Get out there, walk your dogs, go to the cinema, read a book, do things that you enjoy, do things that usually take your mind off of the stress and whatever is going on in your life. Just try and focus on being positive. One of the things that I really enjoy is cooking, so that's what I've been doing. I've been baking and doing new recipes. I've got a carrot cake recipe coming real soon and oh my god is it awesome. It's so good. It's probably one of my best recipes so far. Once I have tried it one more time and perfected it, I'm going to put it up on my cooking channel. That's me over and out on a Sunday. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed the workout and I'll see you guys soon.